Hello guys, welcome to another video in the series of coding. We are going to do the question which is called height using parent array. So you have to find the height of a binary tree, okay? But the binary tree is not given, rather a parent array is given. Let's try to take some example. Let's say this is the binary tree. You have the zeroth node, then you have first node, you have second node, you have some third node, you have some fourth node, you have some fifth node, okay? And so on, right? So then let's say you have some sixth node here, let's say you have some seventh node here, let's say you have some eighth node here, let's say you have some ninth node here, tenth node here, okay? And then let's say you have some eleventh node here, and 12th node here and so on right so that's just some random binary tree okay so you have to find the height of this binary tree now what is the height of this binary tree you can see that you will start from here and this is the maximum height that you have so what is the number of nodes you have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so what is the height what is the answer in this case you have 7 nodes so 7 is your answer okay how do you find the height of this binary tree okay this is the question but the binary tree is not given to you rather what is given a parent array is given now what is this parent array it tells you at each index what is the parent okay for example at the zeroth index what is the parent there is no parent so it is minus one at the first index what is the parent the parent of one is zero right the parent of one is zero so we will write zero similarly the parent of two is also zero so at the second index also you will write zero okay the parent of three is one so at the third index you are going to write one the parent of four is also one so at the fourth index you are writing one the parent of five is two so at the fifth index you are writing two the parent of six is four so at the sixth index you are writing four the parent of seven is also four so at the seventh index you are writing four the parent of eight is also five uh, the parent of eight is five so at the eighth index you are writing five the parent of 9 is 7, right? So at the 9th index, you are writing 7. The parent of 10 is also 7. So at the 10th index, you are writing 7. The parent of 11 is 9. So at the 11th index, you are writing 9. The parent of 12 is 11. So at the mm, so at the 12th index, what are you writing? You are going to write 11. Okay, that's it. This is a simple problem. You are given the parent array. Now from this parent array, right? Now from this parent array, this is the parent array that is given to you which which tells you at which index what is the parent you have to find the height of the binary tree how are we going to do it okay so let's start so you are given first of all the last node what is the last node this is the last node 12th node is the last node for the 12th node what is the parent the parent is 11 okay let's try to build it for the 12th node the parent is 11 okay so for the 12th node the parent is 11 how do you know it just see the parent array at the 12th index whatever is the value that is the parent so 11 is the parent so now you go to the 11th index at the 11th index what you find you find 9 so for 11 the parent is 9 okay then you do what you go to the 9th index for 9 what is the parent 7 so at the 9th index the parent is 7 then you go to the 7th index what is the parent for 7 4 is the parent for 7 okay then you go to the 4th index what is the parent for 4 1 is the parent for 4 then you go to the 1st index what is the parent for 1 for parent for 1 is 0 then you go to the 0th index the parent for 0 is minus 1 that means you have to stop you have reached the end of the binary tree so while you are doing this just keep okay while you are doing this see you are starting from here jumping 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 here the number of times that you jump is the height okay number of times that you jump is the height let's see this again very carefully what are you doing what are you doing let's start from the beginning okay let's start from the beginning so you are at the uh, first of all you are at the last node so what is the height till now the height is one okay only one node you have seen then you go to the 11th index you find that the height of this is now becoming equal to two okay then what you do you jump to the node nine okay you jump at the index nine when you jump at the index nine what happens to your height your height becomes equal to three okay now your height is three now where will you jump you will jump at the seventh index what do you see there at the seventh index before jumping you make the height equal to four now you jump at which index you jump at the fourth index now at the fourth index what are you doing you are uh, making the height equal to five then you jump at the first index you jump at the first index now at the first index uh, what do you find you find zero but before jumping at the zeroth index you will make the height height is equal to six now what you do you jump at the zeroth index at the zeroth index what you do at the zeroth index you make the height as seven and you reach minus one that means you have to stop okay so what the, how many times you jumped you jumped seven times so seven is what seven is the height okay now let's quickly take one more example very quickly and then we'll move forward to coding it okay let me just write another uh, simple random binary tree what are we doing you have some zero you have one you have two you have some three you have some four okay you have some five you have some six you have some seven okay you have some eight you have some nine you have some 
ten. Okay, let's 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 say this is the binary tree. You have to find the height of this binary tree. What is the height of this binary tree? Let's calculate. So you can go this way. Okay, this is the last node. So you'll go from this way. One, two, three, four, five. The height of this binary tree is what? The height of this binary tree is five. So your answer should be five. So what are we doing? First of all, let's quickly build the parent array. What is the parent of zero minus one? Parent of one. Zero. Parent of two. Zero. Parent of three. One. Parent of four. One. Parent of five. Two. Parent of six. Three. Parent of seven. Three. Parent of eight. Five. Okay. Parent of nine. Seven. Parent of ten. Eight. Okay. So you have built the parent array. This is what. This is your parent array. What are you going to do? Very simple. Just start from the last node. What is the last node? Ten. Ten is the last node because the last node is ten. Tenth index. That means you have the last node, which is that. Tenth node. You are starting the nodes from zero to ten. Okay, so the last node is ten. So at the ten, what is the parent? Parent is one. Okay, so parent is one. So we will make the height equal to one. Then we will jump to the eighth index. Why are we jumping? Because at this we found the value eight. That means parent of ten is eight. Okay, so we will go to the eighth index. Now the height becomes equal to two. Now the height is two. What do you find at the eighth index? You find that the parent of eight is five. So where will you go? You will go to the fifth index. You will go to the fifth index. Make the height equal to three. At the at the fifth index, you find the value equal to two. That means you are going to go at the second index. At you are going to go at the second index. The height becomes equal to four. Now you are going to go at the zeroth index. So at the zeroth index, you find a minus one. So height becomes equal to five, and you stop here. So what is the height? Height is five. Okay, that's it. This is a simple uh, logic. Now we are going to start. Okay, now we are going to start. So let's start. So what do you have to do? Let let me um, make a function find height. Okay. So to this function, what are we going to pass? We are going to pass a variable height, which will what it will do? It will increase whenever we make a jump. Okay. So height is initially equal to zero. It will increase, and finally you will return height. Now to this function, you will also have to pass from which index are you starting? Right. You are starting from the last index. Okay. Where when did you start from? I equal to n minus one. N minus one is the last index. So you start from here. Okay. So I'm going. To I am going to pass the last index, and of course, I am going to pass the array. That's it. These are the three parameters that I am going to pass, and let me write my find height function. Okay, so void find height function. Now, i i is the index at which I am currently. Okay, and I am going to pass the array, and I am going to pass height by reference, so that whatever I change in the height, that will reflect here, and I can return height. Okay. So very simple. When do you start? What is the base case? If i is equal to minus one, you have to stop. Okay. Otherwise, what do you have to do? Otherwise, very simple. Otherwise, just increment your height because every time you are jumping, just change the height and then call the find height function again. That's it. Three lines of code. Now, what will happen to your i? Okay. So you are starting with the last index. What is your i when you are starting? When you are okay. Let's take this example. When you are starting, let's start. When you are starting, what is your i? In this example, when you are starting, i is equal to n minus one. So what is your i? i is equal to ten. Okay. So you are starting from the last index. So i is equal to ten. You are starting from ten. Now what becomes your i? For the next time, you are going to jump at the eighth index, right? So i will become equal to array of i. So i will become equal to eight. Okay. Next time, what will your i be? I will become equal to array of eight. Okay, so next time I will become equal to five, and so on, right? So next time, what will happen? I will become equal to array of five. Array of five means two. I will become equal to two. That's how you are going to jump, right? So instead of i, what I am going to do? Whenever I have i, I am just going to make it array of i. That means we are going to jump at whatever value is given. Okay, that's it. This is a simple code. Three lines of code. Let's sum it and see. It should work. Okay, this is it. So it's working. Thank you for being patient and listening.